Wildlife makes an essential contribution to our life support system. For example, for local communities who live at the interface with wildlife, this is a main source of proteins. Without bees, we, we wouldn't have fruit. Bats are actually pollinators. They are seed dispersers. And if tomorrow bats are gone, that will affect human health and their domestic animal health. an emerging disease emerging from wildlife, which is called the Nipah virus. It appeared in Asia a few years ago. Um, there was a lot of deforestation to plant palm trees. The thousands of bats uh, had to uh, go elsewhere to feed themselves. So they get closer to human settlements and particularly closer to pig farms where there were mango trees and, and uh, where they could feed. They were a carrier of this Nipah virus that eventually uh, were transmitted to the pigs who got sick and then the pigs contaminated the, the humans. The virus that causes COVID-19 almost certainly came from wildlife. And to reduce the risk of emerging disease and prevent the next pandemic, we need to better understand their origin and drivers. Human activities are the main factors increasing the emergence of disease from wildlife. Deforestation is uh, one of them, and uh, also the exploitation of natural resources in uh, forests where uh, human beings are not used to go. Because we have more contact between wildlife, domestic animals, and humans. One factor that's thought to be um, related to the emergence of disease from wildlife is the unregulated trade in wildlife. Um, and we still don't understand wildlife supply chains in many parts of the world. So a lot of work needs to be done to understand where those risks are. Because we share the ecosystem with wildlife and domestic animals, our health is intrinsically linked to the health of animals and the environment. Animals and humans, they live within the ecosystem. So it's important that the environment is put at the centre of the discussion. People need to be aware of the value of wildlife as assets and the important role that they play in maintaining health, health of individuals, health of society. To improve wildlife health is to improve the health of all, environment, animals and humans. The OAI has been developing a wildlife health framework to better integrate uh, wildlife health in its core activities. And it really builds on OI's existing platforms, tools, mechanisms. Our members can report incidents on the wildlife disease outbreaks directly on our platform. This information is uh, shared with the international communities, so earlier action can be taken. Uh, this framework aims to protect wildlife health uh, to better achieve one health. The COVID-19 pandemic is not the first pandemic that humanity is facing and is not going to be the last one. If we do nothing for wildlife health and for biodiversity, we will uh, have more and more pandemic events like the one we have with the COVID-19. We need to act now because we have everyone's attention and people are starting to understand the importance of wildlife health in preventing um, disease emergence at the human-animal interface.